Hi, I'm David Despinat. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a contact form from HoneyBook and import it into your website. It's very simple to do, but before we dive right into that, I want to talk a little bit about HoneyBook and I'll do a more in-depth video down the line. Um, I've only been using HoneyBook for a little over a month now, so I'm still getting the feel for it, but I've been really happy with it. Now, what is HoneyBook? HoneyBook is a product management or workflow system for creators. Specifically for me, I am a photographer and videographer. So I will mostly be using this uh, for weddings. And it makes setting up a wedding so easy. One, I have my contracts already pre-set up in HoneyBook. So once a client has decided they want to go with me for the wedding, I am able to just send them over the contract, have them read through it, make sure they're happy with it. If need be, I can make revisions and send them another contract. Very, very simple. They can sign it, and then they can go on and process a credit card so that they can do their down payment for the wedding. Um, of course, the client could meet up with me, and I could get a check from them or cash or something like that, but this makes it very easy for me and the client, and I guess when you're working with wedding clients, you want to make things as easy as possible, and you want to have the best communication as possible, and HoneyBook allows me to do that. Now, that's with any client when it comes to communication, but specifically, weddings is really where you want to have that really good communication to make sure everybody knows what's going on and that they're happy. And HoneyBook really makes that easy for me um, as a product management system. So that's predominantly what I use HoneyBook for. I have other clients in here as well that I do work with and they're and they able to of course pay right through HoneyBook and make things easy. Um, and it just makes my workflow and keeping up with all my clients and all the jobs I've got going on, it just makes it easy to keep up with them. But enough about that. Let's figure out how to set up this contact form. It's really simple, and this should work um, with most any website out there. I will be using Squarespace, but this will work with WordPress or a handful of other websites that are kind of set up where you kind of just fill in the information. Um, if you're coding your website, then you may want to have your web designer put this information in for you, or if you do your own coding, then you'll know where to put this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Settings. And then we're going to click on contact form. Now, the really cool thing with HoneyBook is you can set up your contact form. You can kind of customize it the way you want to. I've already customized my contact form the way I want it. Um, and for now, I'm going to leave it like this. I may make changes down the line. This is a very generic setup, but this really gets the job done for me. So then I'm going to click um, embed code. Once, once I've got the contact form set up and I'm happy with it, I previewed it, this is, what I, this is what I want people to fill out. This is the information I need from people, from potential clients. I'm going to click embed code. So once we've done that, we're just going to hit copy to clipboard. And now I've copied this code that I'm going to need. And we're going to go to Squarespace now. So I've got Squarespace, and I need to create a new page to do this on. So we're going to click page. Uh, and then we're going to call this contact. And then we're going to pick, click, if I can say things right. Then we're going to pick blank page. And then we're going to say start editing. Now, right here, you're going to have an option to hit this little plus code right here. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says more. And we're going to pick code. Now, we're going to get rid of that code right there. And I'm going to control V or you could right click um, and paste. But I find control C copies, control V, paste. So as you can see, the code just popped up. So I'm going to apply it. Um, and now I have this contact form in here. Now for me, I don't want to take up the whole page because I'm actually going to put some more information next to my contact form. So what you can do is you can hold it in Squarespace and you should be able to move it over off to the side right here. And you saw that little black line that came up. Okay. So now I've got this, and over here to, to the right, as you can see, I'm going to fill in some more information um, like links to social media, um, phone numbers, email, stuff like that if they want to contact me directly and they don't want to go through the contact form information. I do kind of hope they go through the contact form information just because it, makes, it goes into HoneyBook and it just makes my life easier when working on my workflow. So I'm going to hit Save. All right, and once I've hit Save, um, again, this is not going to be all blank once edited in. I'm going to click on contact and I'm going to bring it down on my navigation list where I want it. I want it down here at the bottom. I want it to be the last thing that people have a chance to click on. So I'm going to bring up uh, my website here on a different web browser. All right. And I'm just going to click enter. 
and hopefully the contact form will be popped up. Yep, there it is. So I can hit contact, and there's my contact form. So now I need to fill out this this information. And you know, this is what you're hoping a potential client's going to do, right? So I'm going to try to sell myself on a wedding that isn't happening, and. There we go. So I put my put my email in there. Um, we'll put David Dispanet. All right, and I could put a fake number in there. All right, and then I could fill out the rest of the information, but I don't really need to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click send. And of course, going to say thank you. And so now we're going to jump back over to the other web browser. And we're going to go into HoneyBook. So now I should have an inquiry. So we'll go up here to my pipeline. And there we go. Now I've got an inquiry. And I can start dialogue with the potential client and hopefully get the job. So, and there we go. And now that information is sent to me. And then I can go right into information of them. And I can say hello. And once you say hello, this will get moved on down the pipeline. So we can now click on the pipeline again. And this goes from inquiry to follow up and hopefully set up a meeting proposal, proposal sign, retainer paid, planning. Then the project is completed. And I get my final payment. So if you see, um, I get an email pretty much. And I've got all my emails linked into one Gmail account. So. Um, but I got the, the potential client will get an email kind of saying hi David and or whatever their name was and just kind of telling them thanks for reaching out to me I'm gonna get back to you as soon as possible and then we kind of start that dialogue and hopefully I get the job so if you notice HoneyBook makes this kind of stuff really really easy and I'm really excited to be working with them how much easier it's gonna make my workflow over the next year so if you have any questions, um, you can reach out to me at mediaunlocked101 at gmail.com or, of course, leave comments down below here on YouTube, and I'd be more than happy to answer any of those. Also, I'm going to add a link in down below that will give you 20% off the first year. So if this is something you're interested in, I think they have like a 10 or 14-day free trial. You could sign up, see what you think. And if you use uh, my link or code, you get 20% off for your first year, which is uh, really cool that they're doing that. Again, if you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one.